Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of the CrossFit Games Update Show. I'm Sean Woodland with Annie Sakamoto and Tommy Marquez. We continue to take a look at the individuals who are competing at the 2016 Reebok CrossFit Games. And today we take a look at the Atlantic athletes. And this is where Ben Smith certainly made a statement as he starts his title defense. Yeah, good things happen when Ben Smith practices mm. the regionals workouts. And really he just showed why once again He's one of the all-time greats when it comes to the men's side of the competition yeah. at the CrossFit Games. Yeah, Smith dominated this regional. It was four veterans and then one games rookie, and Ben Smith was all by himself in first place, was never really threatened. Jacob Anderson is the only rookie, and Ben Smith won three events in route to winning this regional. And you said like before, he's a guy that traditionally has not prepared for the regionals, just shows up, does the events. He prepared this time, and, and it was scary to see what he could do. Is he now or is he still the favorite? Absolutely. He, he's w without a doubt a favorite. Let's just stick to the facts first. He's the reigning champ. That, that's a notch in the cap. He tied a record for the most top 10 finishes ever at a CrossFit Games last year. In doing so, another notch in the cap. And then you look at how he dominated the Atlantic Regional with an impressive performance, beating a guy in Noah Olson who had all the hype coming in by, over, by 58 points total. You know, it's hard to, to quantify all the things that Ben has done across his career, but I just think he has such a laundry list of accomplishments, it's hard not to consider him a favorite, but repeating will be tough with a guy like Matt Frazier beating, uh, basically on your heels, and he doesn't typically do well in a year after he finishes on the podium. 2013, uh, 2011 on the podium, 2012 he was 11th, 2013 on the podium, 2014 he was 9th, wins last year, hopefully he can back it up this year. A lot of expectations are on Noah Olson. He's finished eighth two years in a row. Is this the year, though, that he now makes that next step? Yeah, I, I, I certainly think he can, and I think he should look up the leaderboard one spot at the Atlantic Regional at Ben Smith as evidence as to why he can do that. You look at Ben's year last year, great open performance, finishing third worldwide, doesn't have the performance we expected of him at regionals. You know, he puts his head down, he comes back strong at the games. This year, Noah wins the open, has a great performance, doesn't quite have the result he wanted at regionals. And you know what, now he needs to, you know, keep the social yeah. media to the side, stay out of the limelight, put his head down, and really focus on showing up big at the games. Less Miami, more blue collar, which I know he's <laughs> yeah. doing because he just spent last weekend training with Chandler Smith. Of the three remaining athletes, Travis Mayer, Jacob Anderson, and Gary Helmick, you have two games veterans and one rookie in there. Annie, who do you think does the best out of those three? Well, Travis Mayer has been to the games twice. Mm -hmm. Gary Helmick's been there once. But my chips are going to be on Jacob Anderson. Okay. He's got two brothers that have both been there. Mm -hmm. One brother that will be there in Alex Anderson uh, with him. He obviously comes from a, a strong genetic pool, yeah. but looking at his numbers, he has some freakish barbell and gymnastics numbers. He's young, I see him as hungry. Mm -hmm. My chips go to, to Jacob Anderson. So let's go over to the women's side where once again it was Emily Bridgers who won the Atlantic Regional. There were three veterans and two rookies who are heading to the CrossFit Games. Helmick and Reardon are the rookies, but uh, Emily Bridgers has three event wins she was sixth at the games in 2014 after having a great performance at regionals and you know, last year 24th and once again had another great performance at regionals which one is is the real emily bridgers here i think the real emily bridgers is the 2014 sixth mm -hmm. place um, um emily bridgers she sure the she had a, a hard year last year i think that was an aberration though really when we look at her um for the most part all of her finishes have been top 10 top five fin place mm -hmm. finishes the, the Emily Bridgers that we saw at regionals, that's the Emily yeah. Bridgers I expect to see this year at the games. Anna Tonicliffe and Christy Atkins are, are two veterans who are going back for another shot at the CrossFit Games. And the last time they were in the games together, they finished you know, one spot away from each other. With that being said, who do you think has a better finish here in 2016? That's tough because I'm, I'm a fan of both and mm -hmm. each excel in different areas. But I think Anna Tonicliffe, you look at her performances over the last three years making the games, well, she's had an event win in each of the last two. She's got 14 top 10 finishes across her three uh, seasons at the games. She typically starts off great with a couple of uh, strong performances like in the swim type events, but then kind of tapers off. But I still think she's going to be able to hold on just a little bit better than Christy. But don't be surprised if Christy Askin shows up, kind of flips the switch, mm -hmm. and has a spirit of the games worthy type performance in a workout or over the weekend. The two rookies in the mix here in the Atlantic Regional, we have uh, Meg Reardon and Aaliyah Helmick. 
what can we realistically expect them to do when they get to Carson? Well, Meg had, um, she had a good, a good regionals performance. She finished first on event seven, even though she did finish 25th in, in event two. Um, and then Aaliyah Helmick, she's a full-time school, uh, school yeah. teacher. So the fact that she qualified was amazing. She didn't ever finish outside 14th, but she also never finished better than fourth. Yeah. So looking at these two ladies, I think a lot is just to make it through the whole weekend, mm -hmm. to have a good, healthy, happy experience at yeah. the games. And then again, it, it comes right. back to who can bring the knowledge back, the experience back the next year. Well, that's going to do it for the look at the Atlantic Regional. Remember, tickets for the CrossFit Games are still on sale. Unfortunately, the tennis stadium tickets are sold out, but there are soccer stadium tickets that are still available. Go to games.crossfit.com for those. You'll still be able to be a part of everything that is cool at the CrossFit Games, including Vendor Village. You'll get to watch all the events that go down at the Stub Hub Center in one form or another. So it's still a lot of fun to be there as part of the festivities at the Stub Hub Center. We will be back next week with a look at the remaining four regionals. For for Tommy Marquez and Andy Sakamoto, I'm Sean Woodland. We'll see you guys then.